So for this pre-lab, what I need to do is I need to create a Beer's Law curve, okay? And what I'm gonna be doing as a result is I'm gonna get different concentrations of crystal violet solution, okay? So you're gonna be doing these calculations, but let me just remind you how exactly you are going to be doing this in the laboratory setting. So once you figure out, for example, for solution A, how much water and how much of your stock solution you would need, and by the way, it would be one of your one mil of your stock solution and nine of water. And you're gonna take your cuvettes and you're gonna add the appropriate amount of water and the crystal violet solution that I give you. Okay, so the best way to prevent any sort of contamination is first to do water and measure the correct amount of water for every single cuvette and then to do um, crystal violet. Okay, so I want nine mils so I'm gonna scroll this up to the small nine. Okay. Okay. So I'm at nine, okay, so I'm gonna add that in. And if I were doing this in the lab, I would then add the next correct amount of water to the next cuvette and so on and so forth once, until I have all of my different concentrations of solutions, okay? Now, I'm gonna add one mil of the crystal violet solution. And notice at this point, I'm super close to the top. Let me show, make sure you can see this. I'm super close to the top of the cuvette. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab up one mil of my crystal violet solution. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of it to the water, okay? But it's gonna start to overflow. So I'm gonna suck up more water. Okay, I'm sucking up water into my volumetric pipette, and then I'm gonna expel some of it. Okay, so I'm, notice I'm mixing, right? So now I don't just have crystal violet in my volumetric pipette, I've got crystal violet and water, and now it's perfectly mixed. So I'm actually gonna get rid of some of the solution. I'm gonna just have the volume be right here, okay? Because I added nine mils of water and one mil of my crystal violet, I now have the correct concentration. I can get rid of some of the volume. I don't need all of that volume anymore. So I'm gonna get rid of that and dispose of it just in the sink, okay? And then I created one solution, okay? With, that con with the concentration that I wanted. You now need to create four other solutions, right? One with a five micromolar, one with a 7.5, one with a 10, and one with a 12.5 micromolar solution. Once you have all of the solutions, okay, then you're gonna take it over to the spectrophotometer. You're gonna put each of the cuvettes in after you zero it with pure water. And you're gonna measure the absorbance of each of those solutions. Once you have the concentration and now the absorbance of A, B, C, D, and E, you can create a Beer's Law curve with concentration on the X axis and absorbance on the Y. That is the very first thing you have to do, okay? Once you've done that, now we can go on to the new stuff looking at the kinetics of crystal violet. So for the actual reaction, we're gonna be using the 25 micromolar crystal violet and then 0 0.02 molar sodium hydroxide, okay? And so we're gonna add five mils of each to our cuvette. As soon as we add it, immediately we're gonna add put that cuvette into the spectrophotometer and we're going to measure the absorbance every 20 seconds. What's gonna happen is the sodium hydroxide reacts with the crystal violet causing the color to change and we can actually quantitatively measure that change in color by measuring the absorbance, okay? So you're gonna have this right next to the spectrophotometer. You're gonna add five mils of your crystal violet, five mils of your sodium hydroxide, you're gonna have already zeroed your spectrophotometer and then you can immediately put it in and measure it every 20 seconds, all right? So I'm first going to measure out the five mils of crystal violet and I'm gonna do this not so quickly that I am sloppy with my work, but fast enough as soon as I add the sodium hydroxide that I can immediately start measuring the rate of change of color as soon as I add it to the spectrophotometer, okay? So I'm gonna clean out my volumetric pipette really quickly, okay? Or I can have a second one so I don't even have to clean it out. Then I'm gonna add the sodium hydroxide, five mils of that. 
okay? And as soon, I'm gonna actually take this over, I would have this right in front of my spectrophotometer, and as soon as I add this, okay, I'm gonna add it, I'm gonna quickly suck up some liquid, mix it for quality's sake, okay? It's properly mixed, I'm not gonna have exactly 10 mils, I'm gonna have just a little under that, okay? Then I'm going to wipe it off with a Kim wipe and then I'm gonna put it into the spectrophotometer and I'm gonna start measuring every 20 seconds.